Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of Jupiter Plays All the Games, this time with Meatly Jam 2016. This game jam uh, challenged developers to make possibly a horror game using the theme Unlikely Evil. I'll be playing all the games into this jam for about a minute each. Links to the individual games will be in the description, about 10 games per video, so you can check them out further. All my info will also be in the description, so you can check me out. And at the end, I'll probably have an article of my favorites on Game Jolt's Fireside, so keep a lookout for that. Thank you very much for watching and liking and commenting. Next. We're playing the Cree Tree. I tried to play this game before, but the play button wasn't working. The developer has since fixed it. That. Aw, oh, it caught me. That was fast. That's supposed to be my light. So basically, this light at night scares me, but I haven't told my parents. So. Alright. I'm gonna hide. Oh, okay. So there we are in bed. We want to make it up to our. Bed self. Oh, it's me that's glowing. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna climb. Alright, it's way over there, but there's like a toy chest here. So I'm supposed to be a child, so this lamp is super scary. But I want to make it back up over to myself. It's kind of weird to try to figure out what these things are once you get closer to them. How do I get over to my bed? Can I jump all the way over? Yeah, that didn't really work. Oh, I can't go underneath the bed. I wish I could run. No! Ah, <laughs> oh, but I understand the idea. It's a neat, it's a neat concept of this lamp being the evil. Next. We're playing Say My Name. Hi, Dave. <gasps> what is wrong, Dave? Cat got your tongue? What? what? Maybe you should go and find it, Dave. <laughs> that must be our voice. WSD and mouse. Alright, <gasps> run. Wait, sorry, one last thing. To find your tongue, you need to escape this place. I'm done with you. Now you may go. I'm not a twat. Okay. This looks like a maze. Oh. That was an exit. It's really hard only being able to see only being able to see this like little peephole of an area. It's not very much. <coughs> ah oh, what was that? <coughs> ah, that was a bad guy. Okay. Uh, it's like random roar scared me. Where are you? <laughs> ah, this bunny guy. The bunny is actually kind of cute looking. <laughs> Next, we are playing Deadlock. WSD to move, mouse to look around. Okay, any noise can attract the owners. Be careful. You have skill to create noise somewhere else. Use it when the owners can notice you, but remember the skills of cooldown time. It's a safe place, owners can't find you here. Weird, I feel like we're talking to each other. They can totally go through walls. Oh, one found us. Oh no. Nope. Wow, I kind of epically failed at that game. I died. Yeah, let's restart. Maybe I shouldn't go that way. Stop talking, guy. We'll just wait. I like the look of this. I wish I'd stop making those noises, though. Yeah, don't do that. Where did that guy come from? Oh, stop it. Ah, oh, that one's got us. Because we still have a cooldown.
Ah, I can't run that fast either. We're gonna die. Aw. It looks really neat though. Next. We're playing the Meatly Ghost Survival game. Right, play. I am the Meatly, the mighty pencil to draw comics. And those are idea fairies. Those. What? Ah, oh, no. Looks like the creep gets you. Alright. This is a pretty simple game. I like how they use the Meatly's characters. That's pretty cool. It's a bit weird that my pencil goes sort of behind these little lines, but that's alright. I've got a lot of you guys all at once. I don't want to move too much because they don't seem to spawn in the middle, but they don't want to run into one that's newly spawned in, you know? Get away from me, ghosts. You don't tend to stop because we're hovering. You tend to continue gliding. Which is sort of like... Get all of you guys. No, no, no. It's a very simple, well-made game. Next. We're playing Untold Dawn with our Xbox controller. Right. Well, I should probably pick back up my torch. Ah. I have unlimited torches, okay. I put you right in the light. Who knows? I don't really know how to fight you guys. Back up, I say. I like that we can light these little things on the ground. No. Ah, oh, no! Wow, I totally died. So apparently we should be able to, like, aim and throw the torch. I don't think I understand how, though. Alright, I figured it out. Kind of throw it like that. See? There we go. So we can throw them at bad guys. Ah, we do need to jump there, but we need to not jump as much. This game looks super well made. I very much like the graphics and the lighting effect. Right, so we kinda wanna jump. Not jump too far, like that was too far jumping. Which is a bit confusing. Maybe we should throw the torches until, like, you see the torches on the land. Does that make sense? Probably. Oh, I didn't jump at all. Okay. That's fine. Look at those eyes in the water. I think we need to go up here. I like how these torches just also burn out. It's these little details that uh, make a game. Alright, so we're at the checkpoint. I just wanted a chance to kill another skeleton. What? Oh, am I burning this barn down? Am I out of torches? Oh, okay. I don't know. There we go. Why these bad skeleton people? I wanted to th try to throw a torch at them. There you are.
Alright, so they don't kill them. They do. They do kill them. Good. That's pretty cool. Next. We're playing Relay Station 4. Alright. We'll go this way, I guess. Looks like some sort of, like, goth disco ball. Is this the right way? Or is this the right way? Well, I guess we go this way. Let me in. There we go. It's going in the wrong side, I guess. What is that? Looks like nerves. Lights don't work very well in here, do they? Um, blah blah blah, some code. Oh. Looked like there was something there, but... Maybe not. Nope, I... That, that's definitely there. I'm not sure what I was supposed to do. <laughs> that was definitely very creepy. <laughs> I like the texture of everything. The graphics look pretty cool and it doesn't run too slow on my computer, which is nice. Next. We're playing He Who Fights Monsters. Okay. H to bring up controls. A and D. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Master Fire. Alright. A and D doesn't seem to work to move. It seems to be arrow keys. Oh. But like a thing on my head. This is weird. Right. There we go. Uh, Alright, but we can't use up and down to go up these ropes. What am I supposed to be doing? I'm not quite sure what I need to do. Oh, the control is a bit weird. Alright, so A and D left and right doesn't work for me. It seems to be WASD. And then we've got space, W and S to climb, mouse, young angel, are you alive? I think so, but I'm not really sure where to go from here. It looks like an interesting game. I wish I could go through these doors. I'm not sure where they were going with it, though, or what to do. It jumps awfully high sometimes. Next. We're playing Do Your Homework. Uh, I didn't read how to play. Awesome. Patrick, do your homework before going out. Love, Mom. Nah, Patrick. And so the chase begins. Alright, so we're running from our mom. Because our mom tried to make us do our homework. So that basically means we're going to run away. Alright, so you need to push left and right to sort of paddle your bike. Ah, oh, I got hit by a car. So, right, Mom, you never told me not to wear a helmet. Or, or to wear a helmet. Or road safety, so I'm probably fine. This is kind of funny because the evil is my mom and I'm running from her. <laughs> okay. Just avoid the cars. Aw. Screen's getting like more red as I die. Oh, there she's she's my mom. So she looks scary. I'd be afraid of her too. Next, it's a very well made game. We're playing Detective Bam You're Dead and the case of the kinda creepy killer. From the grapevine that there was another murder on the floating islands. I'll go to the town hall to see what this is all about. Uh, uh, the detective has arrived. The Wait, who are you? Oh, I am the butler to this island. Well, gather the townsfolk. I must speak with everyone. Allow me to step out for a moment. I must go potty. <laughs> so do I. Where's Joe? Is he the one who was killed? Yes, sadly. Joe got killed. What was that? Run. Okay. This is also a sequel to a different game the developer made, by the way. I like how he went through the effort of like trying to voice all of the characters. And they look kind of neat. I'm back. Okay. And Joe would come to Pigzaris. 
he would only use the bathroom and would never buy anything. Pigs okay. are us. We have no weapons. So obviously, let's split up. Maybe not the best idea. This was a great idea. Now I'm all alone in the woods by myself. With no defense. Which way to go? It's the it's book, book by James, James Jones. Jones. The book, the book asks, asks the philosophical, the philosophical question. question to live I accidentally clicked Lundins. on the book twice. His answer, His answer John Sainer. Oh, I think I died by this Pikachu looking creature. Which way to go? Oh. Which way to go? Weird. Seems like an interesting game. I like all the effort they went to to voice it, and it's pretty well written. You saved my life. Oh, that's cool. What is an arcade machine doing in the woods? How is it even on? All right, we'll play an arcade machine game. Awesome. It's a game within a game. This looks very interesting. Uh, as I said, it is a sequel to a different game that the developer has created. So you probably, if you're interested in that one, want to check the other one out. Um, there's a link to it right on the Game Jolt page. Yeah. Right, next. We're playing Tom Soda. All right, so click on any object to interact with it. This lamp is really ugly. So far. Okay. Oh, this is the bathroom. Um, I don't need to bring the Browns to the Super Bowl yet. I don't need to wash my hands. It's just a mirror. Um, shower. Don't feel like moving the curtain. All right. Um, no matter what I try, I can never get a signal in here. Maybe you should move the radio. It's just a bed. It's a nice day out. All right. Here's Tom Soda. I'll try some gulp. Ew, it's strangely bitter. Oh, it's a stove. I don't want to cook right now. What do you want to do? My trash can, huh? That's odd. There's an empty glass bottle in here labeled A4 ACDOT. All right. It probably means we're poisoned. I mean, I've been told poison is very bitter. He says you should finish your soda. Who, what the hell is that? Oh, let's listen. Gulp, starting to feel drowsy. I don't want to take another drink. All right. I didn't put this here. Oh, uh, yeah, you're very creepy. All right, now where do I put this? She says that's better. Okay. Oh, she's asking you to turn on the radio. All right, drink. This is creepy. Okay. Gulp, yuck. Oh. Um, she says, what? Why? Um, I'll find them in order to talk again. Two, no. One. T. Do we need to write these down? T O. T O. T O. One, two, three. T O M. One, two, three. All right. Three. There should be a fourth. Nope. Four M. I bet you it's Y. Tommy. Right. I find them in order. I just did. Weird. It's spelled Tommy. I found them in order. Okay. And not click them right. T. O. M. Nope. Um. Ah, oh, crap. I messed up. I was supposed to click on her. All right. Next. We're playing the barbershop. All right. So the idea is we have the most beautiful hair in the world. And, oh, no. We're in a barbershop. Oh, and they want to take away our hair. As you can tell. They've already basically taken away far too much of it. Oh, Aww, I have no more. So I just want to escape. I'm gonna skip these first ones. Right. No, 
elevator. No. No. Maybe I need to get to that other door. I'm not very good at this. I like the graphics though. They're really quite cute. Ah. No. Nope, it's not the first three doors. Which one is it then? They didn't open that door. Where do I go from here? Right, go away, Barber. My head is already a wreck. Oh, so I just need to wait. I'm not patient enough. Aw. This is a pretty fun game. I like the, the fact that evil is just the barber shop. Next.